we're going right back to the block for this 1998 Chevrolet Corvette GTR Roadster. Well, yeah, this one here is uh, very, very purple <laughs> and, uh, and very yellow. Uh, the purple extends under the hood, of course. We've got the uh, LS1 motor with a uh, plastic intake manifold that's been, I think, powder-coated. I'm not sure how they've applied the paint to it, but it matches the purple of the bodywork. And, of course, we know that there are available aluminum intake manifolds, but uh, the plastic seems like it took the paint pretty well. Inside this car, we have GTR custom bucket seats with some very vibrant yellow charcoal leather, and it contrasts, I mean, astonishingly against the purple of this car. It's an eye-catcher. A company called Spectre Works built these as an add-on and upgrade to the normal Corvette. Uh, and one of the magazine articles started off asking the question, what does over the top mean? Well, it means one that's like this. This is over the top. Spectre Works is out of Troy, Michigan. They ran their own race team of these Corvettes. This is number five of 29 built. Handled by only two dealers in the country. Dale Earnhardt Jr. said to be an owner of a GTR Corvette. Guys, inside this motor, I'm reading a little closer, we've got a 382 cubic inch stroker built by K-Tech and has 11 to 1 compression, forged pistons, forged crank, billet rods, custom camshaft, ported and polished LS6 heads, and TPIS long tube headers. B&M Ripper Shifter inside ensures uh, good gear changes, and so this is no stock Corvette. It's probably got about 500 horsepower. The Spectre Works company was started back in 1990 by race driver and car designer Jeff Nowicki, who I'm sure is looking in. Nice work, Jeff. Those two dealers I mentioned, one, Purifoy Chevrolet in Colorado in the Denver area where this car was sold. The other is Cauley Chevrolet in suburban Detroit. Last call. That's a buy. 39,000. 39,000. So, $38,000. Time. Goodbye there. I'm not sure I agree with you on that one, Bob. I'd nope. say that one was well sold, or at least all the money. I don't know how much real value those kind of packages will add, unless they're from an extremely well-recognized builder, i.e. Callaway or so. I'm trying to.